All right, so let's say at this point you wanted to come in and do sort of a 3D view of your structure uh, or something that highlights how the structure of the house is working. So I'm just going to come in here and duplicate this view and I'm going to rename it 3D structure. Right, and I could go in now and sort of start cleaning this up. So I'll turn off the levels, the 3D levels, and I could go in and I don't really want any interior walls, right? So I could select those and kind of go through and select all instances visible in view, right? Click on them, hide in view elements, you know, because I don't really want to hide the category. If I hide the category of walls by VH, then it gets pretty thin and also my foundation wall goes away. So we're going to use filters to do this. So first I'm going to use a filter to hide all the interior walls. So I'm just going to VV to open up my visibility graphics, go to filters, add down here, and edit new. And I'm going to go to new. I'm going to give it a name of interior, right? And click OK. And then I want to affect the walls. So when I click on walls down here, it will only search the wall parameters for filtering options. And so up here I can set a filter rule. So I can come in and say, in, in this pull down, I can say function, and then I can say equals interior, and click OK. Highlight this guy, and click OK to add it. And it will add that. If I remove the visibility check, from this override and hit apply, all my interior walls disappear. If I turn that back on and hit apply, they come back. The way this is working is it's using the parameters such as in the edit type. You can see the function is set to interior as a filter to select them. So if I go to VV in my filters, I can then turn off all the interior walls. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to make the SIPS walls transparent Right, so we can see sort of through them um, and see the beams inside there. So to do that, I could turn all the walls transparent, but that would turn my foundation wall transparent, which I do not want to do. So I'm going to go and do a reverse filter to pick everything but the foundation wall. So if I go VV, I can go to filters, edit new, right, new, and I'm going to name this one Wall Transparent and click OK. And then I'm going to come into my rules and I'm going to go to the pull down. Oh, sorry. I'm going to come to my categories. Need to pick walls first. Come to my pull down and it goes through all the wall um, parameters. And one of them is type name. And I know the name of that wall is like a foundation nine inch insulated. So I'm going to say does not equal. So pick everything but this. Scroll down. And there's our foundation nine inch concrete insulated. Click OK. Right. Oh, and I have to add it. Sorry. Add that. And now I can override all of this for everything but that. So I'm going to go into my patterns and it's kind of this weird fleshy color and I don't like that um, for the transparency. It'll look strange. So I'm just going to change it to a white. All of the walls to white. And if I hit apply so you can see them all turn white. Now I can make them transparent. So now they're all transparent. And I think the last thing I'll change is the dark lines around the edge. So we'll change the line. I don't know, maybe a maybe a gray would be enough. So you can still kind of kind of see them, but they're not you know super prevalent. Maybe a little bit more on the transparency. I don't know. It's up to you. Right? So now you've got that. And then you can come in and you know, maybe just because there's only three of these, you could select these and go hide and view elements so you could see the structure beneath there. Um, 
but anyway that'll get you um, the filters are really useful uh, for hiding things and 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 doing things like that all right